You suffer when you feel that you lack of something. You're afraid that you won't have enough. Then you suffer. You suffer because you're poor in your mind. But when your mind is open and you're wealthy in your mind and you're rich in your mind and you're able to understand that the creation is built in a way that God wants to supply and to give everything for everyone, you will not going to suffer to give charity. You won't feel the pain while giving, while supporting, while helping, even from your time. Many people are trying to teach and to guide and to spend time with weak, weak people and to help people that are bala chuva or whatever. They have good will to do that and then they stop. Why they stop? Because they feel, oh, I'm giving too much, I don't have time for myself, now I'm teaching all of the time, I'm not learning. Why? Again, from the same reason. They think that Hashem is expecting them to do something else with their time. They think that it's not enough for Hashem that I'm teaching. So Hashem, because Hashem Ibarach, He commanded us also to learn. So I cannot teach because I must learn. Great. And I cannot uh, spend time with my children and with my wife in the house because I must learn and I must go to do something else. And I cannot take care of my health and go to the gym or jog outside or whatever. Why? Because I need to do other all of the time chasing ourselves, all of the time blaming myself, all of the time hating ourselves, all of the time punishing. Every moment of your life, you find a reason why not to be happy, why to suffer. You're learning Torah, but it's not enough. You're doing it but the dude, that's not the right way to do it. But you've been to Uma, nah, it wasn't enough. I, I, I could have done more. I could, I could pray more hours. I spent too much time with my friends. No matter what you're going to do, you're going to feel bad. Before he got married, he said that he's not married. After that he's married, he said that, he, that, he, that, he, that he's married and doesn't have time for himself. Now he's, got, he's upset why he doesn't have children. Now he's got children, he will be sad. He needs to give his time to the family all of the time. He doesn't have time to learn. Great. Now he also have Chavruta, uh, one hour a day. Nah, then what can I achieve in one hour? I must learn. I'll look at him. He's learning eight hours. No matter what you'll have, you won't be happy. Why? Because the Yatsarara is playing with your mind. And he tells you, brings negative thoughts into your mind to show you, to give you evidence that you're wrong. You know, even if you keep mitzvot, even if you do Torah, even if you do amazing stuff, he will destroy your happiness. So what's the weapon against him? To be happy even if you're not doing anything. It's just a temporary world that in this world, in this period of time, we have a mission. What's the mission? The mission is only not to forget the Creator. To remember that it's all Him. Never to fall in the trap of all of those coverings, of all of those husks.